Hello, everyone. My name is Stacy Burns, and I am from Perkins, Oklahoma. We, my family and I live um, out in the country on a small little farm. We raise pigs and chickens and have several horses. Um, I've been married to my husband, Ty, for 10 years. We have two little boys together. Um, Cordell is fixing to be eight and Keegan is five. They are extremely active and always busy. We are currently in the middle of baseball season. So our nights are busy. Our weekends are busy. And um, I wouldn't have it any way other way. I love it. Um, my husband, Ty, is a police officer in Tulsa. So he's got a very dangerous job, as we all know. Um, I am the victim advocate for the Payne County District Attorney's Office. I'm getting ready to celebrate 10 years there, and I've spent a majority of that time in the Victim Witness Center as the victim advocate. I see people at their worst every day. So um, I work with victims of crimes every day. My job is to walk them through the court process, give them resources, help them with anything they might need help with that pertains to the crime. I go to court a lot. I assist the attorneys. Um, I love my job, but I am here because I felt like I needed something more. So a few years ago, I decided that I probably needed to work on my degree so that I would have more options for myself and my to better my family's life. So um, I'm currently working on my criminal justice degree. I'm not really sure 100% what I'm going to do with it yet. Um, I've thought about probation and parole, and I've also thought about community sentencing. I know that I have several options. Um, my main thing is, is that since my husband's already a police officer, I don't want to go that route only because they're used to me being home every night. They're used to me having an eight to five job. And I don't think that it's fair to them for me to all of a sudden change, shake their world up. So um, I am here to get a little better understanding of not only my job, but what I do on a daily basis. Um, I hope to one day branch out and do something a little more than just victim advocate. Um, I have mixed feelings about what I want to do only because, you know, I get to help people every day right now. And if I go anywhere else or if I do anything else, I want to be able to continue to help people. But to trade from being a victim advocate to being a probation and parole officer, I'm going from working with the victims, working with defendants. So it's kind of a hard spot for me right now because... I don't know if I should just stay where I'm at. Um, I've done a lot of praying about it. So hopefully by the time I graduate, I'll have a better idea of where I should be. Um, what I expect to get out of this class is just the knowledge of, you know, being able to interview somebody. Um, I get to watch a lot of interrogation interviews and... As I'm watching them, like to me, you know, not having the knowledge of what I'm looking for and what I should be looking for, I don't really, I'm not able to like piece things together. So I'm hoping that by the end of this class, I can watch the interrogation interviews and maybe help assist the attorneys in what I got out of it and how I feel about the interviews. So I'm really excited to be able to gain some knowledge to maybe be able to help a little more in my job. So 
Um, I'm super excited to be here. Uh, like I said, my kids are busy. I work full time. My husband works weird hours. So I'm like a married single mom with two kids and lots of responsibilities. So I'm like famous for being late, no matter how hard I try to be early. And I'm totally a last minute person. So when you're thinking, oh gosh, I haven't seen Stacy in a while. Just know that on Sunday night, in the middle of the night or early Monday morning, you'll see me being like, oh, hey, I'm still here and trying my best. <laughs> so I'm super excited to get to meet everybody and maybe get to learn a little bit about each of each other. And I look forward to hopefully getting my degree very soon. Everybody have a great night. Thank you.